Hey guys, it's Dodie. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pot roast in the slow cooker or crock pot. There are lots of ways to do it and we hope that you enjoy ours. Thanks. All right guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is take my meat here. This is a 1.75 pounds of sirloin tip roast. You can do whatever kind of roast you like. Um, this one just happens to be the one that I have here. And I've just started my burner. I've put it on about a medium high heat and I drizzled some olive oil in this uh, pot here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sear it on both sides and then we will put it in our crock pot. So this is gonna get nice and hot. Um, we'll sear it just enough to give it a little brown uh, coat on each side and it should just take a few minutes per side. All right, my pan should be nice and hot. I put just a little bit of salt and pepper on each side. Mm, listen to that. Nice hot sizzle, that's what you wanna hear. We'll let that cook for a couple minutes and then we'll flip it over. Okay, this side should be getting nice and brown. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over and let's sear the other side. We're gonna seal in those juices. We'll give this side just a couple minutes. All right, here's our meat. We're gonna go ahead and take this and transfer it into our crock pot. Now I have lined my crock pot with a uh, slow cooker liner. I do that for easy cleanup and it works really great for me. Okay, so the vegetables I'm gonna use are some red potatoes. So I'm gonna wash these up and dice them up into kind of a good chunky bite size piece. Um, I've also gone ahead and roughly chopped a small uh, yellow or sweet onion. We like the sweet onions, but you can use whatever onion you like or no onion at all. Um, and then we're gonna do some baby carrots or you can take a carrot and chop those up as well. Uh, so we'll get these chopped up and I'll show you what we do. Okay, so I have about a one pound bag of the baby carrots. You can also just cut up carrots if you want those instead. Um, the chopped one small sweet onion and about eight of the red potatoes. You can uh, cut and dice those up, make sure they're washed and dried. And then for our spices, um, you can do any kind of spices you want. You can even get the prepackaged spice mix for the pot roast. We have a teaspoon of salt and then about a half a teaspoon of paprika, um, thyme, black pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. And we're going to add this in to our meat that is in our bottom of our pot. And we're also gonna add some beef broth. Okay, so I've mixed our spices in there. And the next thing I'm gonna do is add some beef broth. Just a little bit to kind of coat that. And then I'm gonna add our vegetables. So I've put in our potatoes. I put the, the bigger stuff first, and then I kind of go by size. I'm gonna dump our carrots and then our onions. And then we'll give them a good stir in just a minute when everything gets mixed in. And I'm gonna add some more beef broth. I like the flavor of the beef broth. You could also uh, just do water if you have water or you could even do chicken bouillon um, to give it uh, more of a chicken stock flavor if you like that. Um, but I'm gonna add this in this carton um, we'll just about cover it and what it doesn't I'll add a little bit more water to it to top it off okay so I've got everything added here now I'm going to just kind of mix it around make sure everything's coated uh, with the juice and the meat is on the bottom we got our carrots and our onions and our potatoes and all of our spices in there and it should be really yummy. So I'm going to set this. Um, you can set mine on high or low. Some of you have completely different crock pots and that's fine, but I'm going to set mine on low and I'm going to do it for eight hours and it will start counting down and in eight hours we'll see um, how good it is. So let's put our lid on. We'll just let it cook away all day long. Okay guys, the pot roast has been simmering away in our slow cooker for several hours now. 
and what goes best with pot roast but some homemade bread. So I'm going to do a sourdough bread um, in the Dutch oven, in our oven, to go along with our pot roast tonight. So let's see what these simple ingredients look like. Okay, well obviously to make our Dutch oven bread, you need a Dutch oven. So I have a large Dutch oven here. And we need a packet of active dry yeast. I have a half a tablespoon of salt, three and a quarter uh, cups of all-purpose flour or plain flour, and one and a half cups of warm water. So we're going to add these together in our mixer here and get our bread dough going. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is add my one and a half cups of warm water. You don't want it over 110 degrees or it might kill the yeast, so I just usually will microwave it for about 40 seconds um, or you can warm it slightly just so that it's warm enough to activate your yeast. And I'm gonna sprinkle my yeast in here. I'm gonna let it get a little bit foamy. And while that's getting a little bit foamy, I'm going to add my salt to my flour. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that in and we'll give it a little stir. Okay, so I'm adding the flour and salt to our mixture of water and yeast. I'm gonna lower this down and we're just gonna put it on a little bit low to kind of mix it up. It's gonna be a very wet dough. I'm gonna let that run for just a few minutes. And I'm using the dough hook on my attachment. Okay, so after a few minutes, you'll see that it um, formed a ball. So this is the, the ball of dough on the hook. See, it's like a, a sticking together quite well. So I'm gonna clean this off and I'm gonna put it uh, in my oven. My oven actually has a bread proofing setting, but if you don't have a bread proof setting, you can always just put it in a warm spot covered uh, for about two hours. So we're going to let this double in size for about two hours in a warm spot, and we'll be back in two hours to put it in the oven. So I set my oven to 450 degrees. I went ahead and put my Dutch oven in the oven to get really hot. I'm going to let it sit in there for about 20 minutes to get nice and hot before we cook our bread. Okay, so we have got our dough. It has risen quite a bit, um, and our uh, Dutch oven is in the oven getting nice and hot at 450 degrees. I put a little bit of flour on some parchment paper. We're actually going to uh, put the dough here, and then we're going to lift the whole parchment paper, and very carefully, without getting burned, we're going to put it into the very hot Dutch oven. So I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, dough out now. I'm going to get a tool real quick to help me. All right, so I've got a tool. We're gonna try to get this out of our bowl here. We're gonna put it here in the center of this pile of flour. There it comes. All right. And we're just gonna kind of shape this the way that we want. We're gonna have it in a circle anyway in the, um, in the Dutch oven. So we'll put a little bit of flour on it there. One thing I do like to do is score it. So right before it cooks, we're going to make some lines in it. Uh, this will help it to cook a little better uh, in the oven. So we'll just make some marks here. Some people get real fancy the way that they score the bread, but mine's not that fancy. It's very rustic. All right, we'll get that hot Dutch oven out and put it in there. Okay, so this Dutch oven is screaming hot. Um, it's very dark red. We're gonna get our dough. And I've got it lifted by the corners. We're gonna place it right here in the center. Be careful not to touch anything hot. Use our hot pads to put the lid back on because the lid is very hot as well. And we're gonna let this cook in the oven for 35 minutes. Then we're gonna take the lid off and cook it another five to 10 minutes. Okay, let's do a quick update for our pot roast that's in our slow cooker. Um, I normally don't open the lid, but um, it's near the end, it's been eight hours. So we're gonna take a quick sneak peek at how everything looks. Ooh, it smells delicious. I wish you guys could smell it all. So we'll let that cook, uh, continue to cook in the slow cooker until our bread is done. Okay, so it's cooked for 35 minutes. I just took the lid off and we're gonna cook it for five to 10 more minutes. 
Okay, our bread is done. It cooked for 35 minutes at 450 degrees with the lid on, and then an additional 10 minutes with the lid off. And you know it's done because it's kind of hard when you touch it, but it'll be soft and really good on the inside. And here's our finished pot roast. It just is so tender, it's flaking apart. The roast looks terrific, it smells great. The carrots and the potatoes are all tender and our bread is ready to serve with it. The bread looks terrific, mm -hmm. it smells really great. This is a hard crusty loaf on the outside and it's really tender and good on the inside. I wish you guys could join me for dinner. It's gonna be excellent. Roast beef, potatoes, carrots, onions, and a nice homemade loaf of bread.